I'm Tam. And I'm Bob. Welcome to our adventure. So it's uh, June 1st, day 7. We're traveling towards Vancouver. We'll get there tomorrow. We got our coffees, went up to Solarium, but we changed time so it's like an hour later and it's 9.30 now and they close at 9 for breakfast. So no breakfast in Solarium today. <laughs> so, uh, we'll have our coffees up here. And then we'll go back to Latitudes and get more coffee and get Everyone was crowded around the centrum for the egg drop challenge. The goal is to drop an egg from deck 9 all the way down to the centrum on deck 4 and have the egg survive. There are some rules. The egg can't be constrained and you have to be able to use the material you can find on the ship. There goes the from there. the Diamond Lounge, just saw a humpback go past us. We're heading towards the channel, the inside passage, down to the here down to Vancouver. Uh, Princess ship is off our starboard bow. And I don't know if they're going to go in the channel first or us. We kind of look like we're gaining on them, so maybe we will gain first. I don't know. Today we are traveling along the Inside Passage from Alaska through British Columbia and tomorrow morning we will be in Vancouver and the end of our journey on Radiance of the Seas. There will be a number of waterways which we will traverse on our journey south and I'll attempt to give you the lay of the land going from north to south. Started the day in the Hecate Strait. Hecate Strait is a wide but shallow strait between Haiti, Gwaii, and the mainland of British Columbia, Canada. It merges with Queen Charlotte Sound to the south and Dixon Entrance to the north. Cate Strait is about 87 miles wide at its southern end and narrows in the north to about 30 miles. And is about 160 miles in length. Leave Hectate Strait, we enter into Queen Charlotte Sound. Queen Charlotte Sound was named by James Strange on August 5th, 1786 in honor of Queen Charlotte, the consort of King George III. Strange was the leader of a fur trading expedition of two vessels, the Captain Cook under Captain Henry Lawry and the Experiment under Captain John Goisey. 
During a boat excursion up the Golpes Channel, Strange saw an opening ahead and named it Queen Charlotte Sound. The body of water he named was what is today known as Queen Charlotte Strait. Queen Charlotte Sound is a sound of the Pacific Ocean in British Columbia, Canada between Vancouver Island in the south and Haidua Gwaii in the north. It merges with the Hectate Strait in the north, which we were on, and Queen Charlotte Strait in the south, which is where we were heading. You have to pick up a British Columbia pilot prior to entering the Queen Charlotte Strait. There was a Princess cruise ship just in front of us also waiting on a pilot. Charlotte Strait is a strait between Vancouver Island and the mainland of British Columbia, Canada. It connects Queen Charlotte Sound with Johnstone Strait and the Discovery Passage and via them to the Strait of Georgia and Puget Sound. It forms part of the inside passage from Washington to Alaska. The term Queen Charlotte Strait is also used to refer to the general region and its many communities, notably the Kwakwakawaku people. The Queen Charlotte Strait connects to the Johnstone Strait. The Johnstone Strait is a 68 mile channel along the northeast coast of Vancouver Island in British Columbia. Opposite the Vancouver Island coast, running north to south, are Hanson Island, West Carcroft Island, the mainland British Columbia coast, Hardwick Island, West Toothlow Island, East Toothrow Island, and at the point the strait meets Discovery Passage, which connects to the Georgia Strait. Johnstone Strait connects to the Discovery Passage. Discovery Passage is a strait that forms part of the inside passage between Vic Vancouver Island and the Discovery Islands of British Columbia. The strait is considered the most important natural passage for vessels entering or leaving the Salsius Sea from the north. During the summer months, the strait is home to approximately 150 orcas, which are often seen by kayakers and boaters packed with tourists. Discovery Passage connects to the Strait of Georgia, which leads to Vancouver, and where we wound up the next morning. For some reason, I didn't film dinner that night. I'll leave it up to you guys if you want to guess in the comments what we got. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Please like and subscribe to our channel. It would mean a lot. Thank you.